blessed love i am the honorable priest isaac i am an official priest within the realms of rastafari of the ethiopia africa black international congress i also hold a certification in the craft of accio astronomy from Politecnico de Milano in Italy. Our universe and its maker has always been an intriguing subject for humankind. Astronomy is the study of everything in the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Ancient astronomy is similar but pays special attention to the physical and spiritual values of stars, planets, moons, and other celestial objects. It also brings in the terrestrial component, being things on an earthly plane, such as plants, human organs, and connects them to the heavenly bodies. In this course, you will learn the makeup of various planets and stars, how to locate them in the night sky, along with their associated constellations. You will also be taught about the earliest civilizations known for their astronomical comprehension, namely Kush, also known as ancient Ethiopia. Kemet, called Egypt today, the Dogans, and the Bozos, as well as the civilization of Sumer. You will also learn about black holes, their nature and origin, as well as how the ancients viewed them. Ancient astronomy is the mother of archaeo astronomy and astro theology. Both subject areas are covered by the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge. Sign up today. Visit our website priestisaacinstitute.com or email us priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com for more information. Oh, yes, my family, blessed love, the honorable priest Isaac here, giving thanks for your presence and greeting you in the name of Negus Nagas. And of course, you're getting some good information there as it relates to the ancient astronomy course. Remember, the link for the website is in the description below this video. I have a wonderful little segment here for you today. And this is really, you know, really kind of bringing you up to speed with what we're going to be speaking about in the tiger's nest this evening. This is a very serious situation, family. And let me let me just remind you, the tiger's nest is a program that comes to you every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evening, 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Caribbean Time at this time on Radio Anu. And remember, of course, you know Radio Anu, the international flavor, the universal spice. You find it on the website priestisaacinstitute.com. Once more, the link is in the description below. Now, this is the Bishop Juan Charlesworth Brown. And of course, this excerpt that I'll be giving you is coming from the Observer newspaper, a local newspaper here in the nation of Antigua and Barbuda, where I am broadcasting from. And it says here, local church bans cannabis smokers from being God parents. All right. And you're looking again at a picture of one Charles Worth Brown, it says here, head of the Christian Ministries Center, Bishop Charlesworth Brown. And you see him there with his um, somewhat what they call rainbow colored regalia of sorts. And this is a report from one Shemaine Bik Charles. I'm just going to read a bit of it. And it says here, the Christian Ministries Center has taken a bold decision to reject marijuana smokers as godparents of any child being christened or dedicated 
at the St. John's Base Church. The rule applies to both male and females. Mm -hmm. So, so once you are uh, you have a child in this church, the person that you want to be the godparent, godmother, or godfather of the child, they cannot be partakers of the cannabis sativa. Now, I am wondering to myself, what about the parents? What about the mother of the child? You know, what about the father of the child? Can they be partakers of the cannabis sativa? Listen, this is a different time. Eh? Everybody smoke her. Let me tell you, everybody smoke her. And it doesn't mean every single person, but we're just speaking loosely. I'm telling you, everybody smoke her. It goes on to say, fulfilling these important roles. No, no, no. In fact, it says here, traditionally, godparents are considered to be among the most important people at the christening, as they promise to support and stand with the parents if the needs arise as well as to encourage their godchildren to grow in the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. Enough Rastaman does stand for God, for God as a godparent eh? for children. I don't know if they are supposed to encourage them in the so-called Christian faith, because this Christian faith here is telling you that you can't smoke herb and be a godparent of a child to lead the child in the right direction. Now, I must say, uh, with all due respect to Mr. Charlesworth Brown, an individual who I know, I know him personally. Uh, not to say I know him that well, as if we are friends or anything, but he passes me in the community and we pass each other and we greet each other. But he is an individual who has always been a staunch opponent of cannabis. In fact, he was on the marijuana board when they just decided to... Um, um, decriminalize marijuana. He was totally against that. He left the, bo the board because he believed that nobody's listening to him. And in any corner that Bishop Brown goes, he fights hard against the cannabis sativa to the point now that he is making what I consider a, 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 a irrational, off the wall decision, you know, that a parent. Anyone that's partaking of marijuana cannot come and start to be the godparent of a child. Well, if we want to get philosoph philosophical here and into some deep theology, standing for the godparent in a house of Christendom for a child is pure paganism. If you want to get serious with the conversation, but because we are dealing with this on a level of ma'at and understanding, we're still looking at this from a civilized perspective. And I will ask the question again, the mother and the father of the child, number one, are they even married in your perspective of marriage, what you consider marriage? Not, not, not nature's you know, outlook of marriage, but you, you, you have a different outlook of marriage. marriage. Are they married? And I will ask the question again, which I'm sure the answer is yes, in many, in many cases, do the parents smoke her? So if, this, if the parents smoke her, who you think would be the godparent? A, 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 a herb smoker, a friend, somebody that, hey, huh, giant brother? Somebody that say, hey, I get us a fresh green thing for us that we can go in the gallery and hold our vibes. That's who you're going to make the godparent. A friend. Your best man, a friend. You know, so if he's going to conduct a, a, a wedding, what, what is Mr. Brown going to tell? Nobody that's... Uh, that smoke herb can be the best man. If he's performing a funeral, no, no, nobody that smoke herb can come and um, dig the grave. You know that impossible. <laughs> you understand. So anyway, family, as I said, this evening on the Tiger's Nest, tonight on the Tiger's Nest, 7 p.m. sharp, radio and remember the link is in the description below. Just go below and press it. And we will definitely be talking about this more in depth and getting some commentary as it relates to this. And let me tell you, family, remember for sure that you can definitely uh, tune in and become a subscriber to the Tiger's Nest. I want you to share this link, please. You know what to do. Press the like button, number one, and share the link. Share this video with a friend. Let them know they got to tune in to Radio Anu this evening for the a Tiger's Nest. And of course, to get the Radio Anu, you visit our website, Priest Isaac Institute. 
www.ebooksforbusinesswomen.com. And there you also go and check up on all the different courses that are available. Remember, or oh, keep in mind, eh, it's almost the first day of July. It's almost the first of July. You may say, what's, what's going on on the first of July? So how many of you already said that you want to be with us for the 6th of November for the ancient Archeo Astronomy course? See, look at all those hands going up in the air. Okay, fair enough. Remember, the course is only $1,088. That's for the whole course. You know, seven days and night plus underground astronomical research. But if you sign up for the course before the 1st of July, let me repeat, if you sign up for the course before the 1st of July, you get it for almost half the price. It's only $580. Um, $1 if you sign up before the 1st of July. That's in the next few days. 1st of August, $688. If you sign up by the 1st of September, $880. And remember, the 1st of October is what they call the deadline. It's our lifeline. And after that, we will not be taking any more enrollments as the course will begin a month after that, $1,088. So if you want to get it for only $581, the course itself, sign up before the first day of July. All right, visit the website and get more information. And if for one reason or the other, you are not too familiar with what I'm talking about as far as the ancient astronomy course, yeah, studication it's called. Let me give you a good idea of what it is all about. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Archeo Astronomy? I am the Honorable Priest Isaac and I am certified in the field of Archeo Astronomy. Do you want to learn Archeo Astronomy? Sir, yes, sir. Well, book your ticket today and join me in the Caribbean in the island of Antigua for nine days and nights, seven of which will be in the classroom studying and in the field researching on Green Castle Hill, Mount Anu, the Stonehenge of the Caribbean. This is a studycation. You will visit the beach, experience the Rastafari camp, yoga, vegan food, and much more. Our next semester is the 6th of November with payments due by the 1st of October. For more information, visit PriestIsaacInstitute.com or email us at PriestIsaacInstitute at gmail.com. Yes, family, give thanks for that. And of course, just inviting you to visit the website once again. And keep in mind, this evening, I'll be going more into, you know, the whole ban that the church is pulling. I mean, the bishop himself here, he has on a regala. Yes, these are the colors of the spectrum of light. We know that. But they have a group of people with some letters in their name, Q and G and T and L and all sorts of letters, trying to hijack the colors of life the rainbow. Me personally, you can't stop me from wearing my rainbow. I Nobody can. But I know when you see other fellas with the rainbow, they're trying to send a message that they're with everybody. So you can't smoke herb and come to this fella's church. But he rocking them colors here. He's supporting all these letters. He's supporting the G. He's supporting the T. He's supporting the B. And let me tell you this. This is so sick. We live in a society that fight against what is called poly polygamy. Not just polygamy, but polygamy is an ancient African cultural concept with the man and several wives. Now, come tell me no stupidness, because a lot of you who are Bible believers, even if you say, well, the Lord doesn't uphold that now, but the Lord used to uphold it. How much wives David had, and Solomon, and Abraham, and, 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 and Jacob, and all of them. It was, it was just a natural thing. So there's somewhere in nature where this is accepted somehow as spiritual and even as an ancient African concept. And of course, because I know many of us immature in our thinking, I'm not here to tell nobody my business, but that is not something I practice, but because that's not my point. My point is we fight down an ancient African concept as that of a man having several wives and the same people that fight that down trying to encourage us to have some level of sympathy and empathy 
for for bisexuals. That's what the B stands for in the LGBT. Now tell me, do you know what a bisexual is? It's somebody that has sex with both genders. And you're supposed to have sympathy for that. And, and you're fighting down an ancient African tradition of a man having several wives. Now tell me, what kind of screw up society is that? But I don't want to go too much deeper. Because when I start to go in these levels, I just wake up and go on my channel and see the video taken down. So join me on radio and we'll go deeper than we're gone now. Tonight, 7 p.m. In fact, family, go and check Radio Anu now. What are you doing? See, you ain't got nothing to do. Go and check Radio Anu now and have, you know, have a good time. Enough information there. Yes, family, give thanks for your presence, man. Check the website and, you know, sign up for the astronomy courses. Still, I see I, Ja, Rastafari, bless.